about two weeks ago, a family in Gippsland sat down to have a meal. It was a beef Wellington. Um, and they ate that meal. And then the next day, uh, four of them got very, very sick and three died. In the last two weeks, the homicide squad's been brought in to investigate, although they're stressing this isn't necessarily a homicide. But they are looking into the details of how these people all at one meal managed to get sick. And um, who might be responsible, what might be responsible. And the attention is focused on the death cap mushroom and the person who cooked the meal, Aaron Patterson. Aaron Patterson is the daughter-in-law of two of the victims. There's been intense speculation about what her involvement in all this has been. Today, it's come out that Aaron Patterson has provided a sworn statement to police voluntarily, explaining her side of what happened. She's spoken to the media before, but this is the first time she's ever done it in any kind of detail, providing information to police themselves. Uh, Patterson basically said that she'd had the mushrooms for more than three months in her cupboard. She had bought them three months ago or so from a, an Asian grocery in Mount Waverly. They were dehydrated mushrooms, which she'd purchased, and they'd been basically in her shelves for that time until she cooked this meal. Patterson invited her friends over, and they um, they all brought a dish, something to eat, and she cooked beef wellington. She, uh, she says she took the dehydrated mushrooms, she mixed them with some button mushrooms she'd bought from a local supermarket, and she cooked the beef wellington and served it. Patterson has spoken out about how there's been some misreporting around the case that her children were never at the meal and they weren't served the food on the day it was served to everyone else. That basically they ate it as a leftover later on, although because her kids don't like mushrooms, she scraped the mushrooms off before it was served to them. The statement also says that police have recovered the remnants of the beef wellington dish, that she had saved it and had been kept in a bin bag um, for police to collect as evidence. Patterson says she did get sick, and she uh, she went to Leangatha Hospital and was transferred by ambulance to Monash Hospital, uh, where she received treatment and then was discharged. One of the most interesting things in the statement is she's admitted that she disposed of the dehydrator. She says that uh, when the attention started to focus on her and people were blaming her for the poisonings and questioning how she could have done it or why she did it, she went home, she took the dehydrator, and she disposed of it at a local tip. Uh, she says she panicked. One of the reasons she decided to sign the statement was that she felt that she should never have given a no comment interview, that when she was asked to be interviewed by police, she took advice from a lawyer who said, don't say anything, say no comment. And she now regrets that, and she wants to be able to try to set the record straight. Patterson has been very clear that she says she was not responsible for this. She didn't do it intentionally, and she doesn't really understand how the poisoning occurred.